Welcome to Oddities Volume 1, Strange News Stories from Around the World for the second week of August, 2022. Let's get started. Oddity number one, Cat Burglars Zero, Cat One. A Mississippi man said his pet cat helped prevent a robbery at his home, and he credits the calico with possibly saving his life. Bandit, who is a 20-pound cat, lives with her owner, Fred Everett. When at least two people tried to break into their shared home, the cat did everything she could to alert Everett of the danger. The attempted robbery occurred sometime between 2.30 and 3 a.m. on July 25th. Everett was first awoken by Bandit's meows in the kitchen, and then she raced into the bedroom, jumped onto the bed, and began pulling the comforter off of him and clawing at his arms. Everett got up to investigate and saw two young men outside his back door. One had a handgun. The other was using a crowbar to try to pry the door open. Everett said that by the time he retrieved a handgun and returned to the kitchen, the would-be intruders had fled. Everett told the newspaper he didn't call the police, but said that the situation would have been very different without his cat, Bandit. Oddity number two, kill it with fire. A Utah man has been arrested on accusations that he started a wildfire all because he was trying to burn a spider with his lighter. Corey Allen Martin told deputies that he spotted the spider Monday while he was hiking in the foothills south of Salt Lake City near the city of Springville. He acknowledged starting the fire but didn't explain why he was trying to burn a spider. Deputies found a jar of marijuana in his belongings but he didn't appear to be high, said Utah County Sheriff Sergeant Spencer Cannon. There's no evidence to suggest he intentionally started the blaze, said Cannon, but he called it a reckless and puzzling decision. This area and most of Utah are bone dry due to extreme drought conditions. Martin was arrested on suspicion of a reckless burn and possession of marijuana and drug paraphernalia. The wildfire quickly spread up the mountain and had burned less than one square mile as of Tuesday, according to officials. No homes have yet been damaged in the fire. Oddity number three, no Bluetooth sharing allowed. Everybody these days has a Bluetooth device, even Nana, but did you know where Bluetooth gets its name from? The middle-aged king, Harold Bluetooth Gormson of Denmark, acquired his nickname courtesy of a darkened tooth, probably dead, that had a bluish appearance. History always pointed to the fact that Bluetooth was probably buried in Denmark, but a Swedish archaeologist and a Polish researcher recently claimed in separate publications that they have pinpointed his most probable burial site in an area of northwestern Poland, causing some disagreement between the two countries. Geological satellite images available on a Polish government portal reveal a rotund shape that appears to be a Viking burial mound that they claim Bluetooth is buried in. But Swedish archaeologist Sven Rosborn says this is completely wrong because Harold, who converted from paganism to Christianity and founded churches in the area, must have been given an appropriate burial in a Danish churchyard. And the Bluetooth symbol, that little blue circle with the white symbol inside of it, that's actually made up of two Nordic symbols, a Nordic H and a Nordic B, the initials of the middle-aged king, Harold, Bluetooth. Oddity number four, monkeys in Japan are actually very impolite. People in a southwestern Japanese city have come under attack from monkeys that are trying to snatch babies, biting and clawing at people's flesh, and sneaking into nursery schools. The attacks on 58 people since July 8th are getting so bad 
that one city has actually hired a special unit to hunt the animals with tranquilizer guns. The monkeys aren't interested in food, so traps haven't worked. They've targeted mostly children and the elderly. They are so smart they tend to sneak up and attack from behind, often grabbing at your legs, city officials said Wednesday. If you're confronted by a monkey, the instructions are not to look them in the eye, to make yourself look as big as possible, and then back away quietly. It's possible without making any sudden moves. A woman was actually assaulted by a monkey while hanging laundry outside, and another victim showed officials bandaged toes. The people are all taken aback and frightened by how big and fat the monkeys are. Oddity number five, cats are jerks and also aliens. A respected Polish scientific institute has classified domestic cats as an invasive alien species, citing the damage that they cause to birds and other wildlife. Some cat lovers have reacted emotionally to this month's decision and put the key scientists behind it on the defensive. The Institute's database already had 1,786 other species listed with no objections, but the uproar over invasive alien species number 1787 probably resulted from media reports that created the false impression that the Institute was calling for cats to be euthanized. There is a growing scientific consensus that domestic cats have a harmful impact on biodiversity given the number of birds and mammals that they hunt and kill. But the criteria for including the cat among invasive alien species are met 100%. Earlier this month, the Polish Academy Institute published a post on its website citing the controversy and seeking to clarify its position. They stressed they were opposed to cruelty towards any animals. They also argued that the classification was completely in line with European Union guidelines. And as far as characterizing them as alien, the Institute notes that the cat was actually domesticated from the cradle of the great civilizations of the Middle East, which in fact make them alien to Europe. Oddity number six, robots are sore losers. A chess-playing robot grabbed the finger of its seven-year-old opponent and broke it during last week's Moscow Open Chess Tournament. The robot broke the child's finger as it grabbed one of the boy's pieces. Four adults had to rush in, struggling to free the boy and leading him away from the chessboard. Officials said the Chess Federation had rented the robot previously and it had appeared in many other events without any incident. They said that the boy was able to play again the next day and finish the tournament with his finger in a cast. Oddity number seven. Old man yells at cloud and also some tourists. What to do when your town is overrun by tourists? Police in an old Arizona mining town that gets a million tourists annually are warning residents to please stop yelling at visitors or they will face harassment charges. Jerome, a population of about 450, was once home to one of Arizona's largest copper mines and is now a hub for artists. Tourists take in its scenic views and visit stores and bars along the winding mountain road that passes through the town. But Jerome Police said on Facebook this week that it's come to our attention that some people visiting our town on short visits and using lawful short-term parking are being yelled at or having notes left on their cars by local residents. And it went on to warn, yelling at or leaving notes could in some cases constitute harassment under Arizona revised statutes. Residents who think people may have violated parking regulations were asked to stop yelling at the tourists and contact police instead. Thanks for watching this week's oddities and thanks for sharing the journey.